Welcome to this musical tutorial on tempo markings. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add tempo markings to your score and adjust them. Add gradual tempo changes like ritardando and accelerando, and show you how to use fermatos and breaks to get the timing of your score exactly as you want it. In this tutorial, I'll be using Es ist ein Ross entsprungen as a sample, so my apologies to Michael Praetorius for how I'm going to mangle his beautiful music. To add a new tempo change, click on the note where you want the tempo to change. Then go to the Tempo palette and click on the type of tempo marking you want. Crotchet equals 80 means 80 crotchets per minute, sometimes abbreviated as 80 BPM. If the beat is a crotchet, like in 4 4, 3 4, or 2 4 time signature, that will be a good metronome mark to use. You can then adjust the value from 80 to whatever tempo you want by double-clicking and editing the text. If you are writing in a compound time signature, like 6-8 or 9-8, then use dotted crotchet equals 80, since a beat in these time signatures is one dotted crotchet. You can also choose a standard Italian tempo marking, like Adagio. MuseScore automatically assigns a metronome tempo to these, which you can see in the inspector in F8. You can change this BPM tempo here to get an exact tempo. Take note that this tempo is always in crotchets per minute, so you may need to do some maths if you're not in a simple time signature like we are here. For instance, if I write dotted crotchet equals 50, MuseScore sees that as 75 BPM, or 75 crotchets per minute. Ritardando and Accelerando are pretty standard needs for musicians, but MuseScore does not currently support them out of the box, as it were. For now, you'll need to install this Tempo Changes plugin, which you can find here. I'll leave a link in the description below. The process to install plugins is actually very quick and easy. I'll leave a link in the description if you need some help, and this plugin is certainly worthwhile getting. It allows you to customize your tempo change perfectly. I'll select this area, choose Plugins, Tempo Changes. First, we'll choose the text to be displayed, such as RIT or HL. So let's say RIT. The plugin will automatically populate the beginning tempo and the beat from your score. Then you can simply choose the resulting tempo and how it should get there, including a handy visual curve if you want to use curve graphs. These can be great for dramatic RITs that often should happen late, or ralentandos where the slowdown happens quickly. The plugin adds a series of hidden tempo markings. Take note that if you change your original tempo, you will need to update your tempo change markings too by running the plugin again. To make an R tempo marking, delete the last marking of this which will normally be visible. Then add a tempo marking that you had previously with copy and paste and change the text to our tempo. A fermata is another common marking that affects the duration of notes. You can find the fermata on the Articulations tab. But by default, it doesn't change the duration of a note. In the Inspector, F8, we can use the Time Stretch to increase the value of the desired length. 2 is often a good place to start. Don't forget to add those to the other instruments as well. Cesura and breath marks can also be a great way to add drama to your piece. And although these normally require live performance to achieve the desired timing, MuseScore allows you to customize this timing too, so that you can hear exactly how long the pause will or should be. You can find these marks under Breaths and Pauses on the palette. Simply choose a note or rest, and choose the break you want. 
breath marks automatically take no time, while a caesura comes with the default value of 2 seconds. But these can be altered in the inspector very easily.